This is Lisa from MobileTechReview.com, and this is the E10 Glowfish V900. The V900 is E10's flagship Windows mobile device with a flush touch screen. So you can see here, I like the HTC Touch Diamond and the HTC Touch family of devices. Runs Windows Mobile 6.1. And it's not too huge, despite the fact that it's got... Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a Surfstar 3 GPS, an FM radio, and a TV tuner built in that does European and Asian TV, broadcast digital TV, but not U.S. This is the back of the device. Got a 3 megapixel autofocus camera back here. Incredibly large speaker grill. This guy has a very loud speakerphone. It's also very good for giving GPS directions. Not exactly a super skinny device, but not too fat. Here's your stylus here. Usual telescoping E10 stylus, but not too skinny. Micro SD card slot is right here. It's your power button, camera button. Standard mini USB sync port. Normal headphone jack, yay. Volume up and down, and this is the voice command and voice recorder button. GPS antenna is up top. And we've just got call, send, and end buttons here on the front. No start, no OK buttons, nothing else. And this is the D-pad. Not exactly our favorite part of the device. The V900 runs SPB Mobile Shell, just like the Toshiba GA10 that we reviewed. Uh, the folks at E10 decided to go with a third-party solution rather than develop their own touch UI. SPB Shell is an excellent program, and it's very popular, so it's not a bad choice. This is your typical SPB Today screen. You've got your calendar, your time, weather, and sound control. You can just flick to the side here to get to your caller ID screen. We haven't put anybody in there yet. Application launcher and a variety of settings. And if you want it to go away completely, you can just swipe down with your finger or hit the exit. And then you've got your traditional today screen. And you can bring up SPB Mobile Shell anytime by hitting the right, right soft key. The V900 has a fast 533 MHz Samsung processor, 256 megs of flash ROM for storage, and 128 megs of memory, which is great because E10's been making devices with 64 megs, and that's just really not enough to run a device quickly. It's got Bluetooth 2.0, Wi-Fi, a Surfstar 3 GPS, and an FM radio. But it's got a antenna. which works with the TV, and we'll run the TV application just so you can see what it looks like. One consolation is even though we can't receive digital broadcast TV here in the US, this antenna also works for the FM radio, which means you don't have to plug in the headset to listen to the radio, and this thing has excellent FM radio reception. So this is what the UI looks like for those of you who can receive digital broadcast TV over the air in the bands that this phone supports. The V900 has a full Surfstar 3 GPS. This is a de dedicated GPS chipset that has excellent reception. We'll check it out with Google Maps here. And we are indoors about six feet from a window. We'll see if we can grab some satellites. We should certainly be able to with the Surfstar 3 GPS. All right. So we've locked onto four satellites indoors and it's found our location already. This is a warm start. We have used the GPS previously with this device. E10 phones are usually very good at multimedia. E10 does a great job with their video drivers. The V900 isn't the most impressive that we've ever seen. Granted, it has to drive a VGA display, which is even harder for video. Some frame drops. You can see the jerkiness, but it's not too bad. Let's try full screen. It's 
serious frame drop now. Now, to be fair, this is a pre-release V900, and we assume with the final form firmware, that video playback will improve. The V900 has a 3 megapixel camera. Here's a camera application. It uses the entire screen as the viewfinder. There are a variety of on-screen controls here. We can set the brightness, where the file is going to be saved to, exposure, file size, all that kind of thing. And to take a picture, you're going to press the camera button up here, press it halfway to focus. When it turns green and plays the funny little sound, you know it's safe to take the picture. You can, you can turn off that incredibly loud shutter sound. As you can see, it takes the picture very quickly. The autofocus is an average for an autofocus camera phone. And here we have the autofocus speed again.